Welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial and today we're gonna do some Basics Collision System for tile sets, which is a thing. I just made a little poll for you guys in my YouTube community and they just said like, yeah, I want to have another video on that. So I'm gonna do this. This will be just for explanation a basics video it does work and is quite robust but this is just then good for integers so basically full numbers if you have walk speeds which are like crummy numbers like 1.3 or whatever then this system will not work so once again little disclaimer and for that of course i will do a second advanced video on well tile set collisions but if you want to know how to do that with this very robust system da -da -da -da, stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing hey why not consider sharing liking and subscribing so the theory behind it it is kind of easy so let's say we have a player which has kind of a collision box this will be represented by this uh, orange uh, rectangle which we actually use for the same in our project and then for example this is the uh, the tile set which is then just being planted everywhere and then this is then symbolized like hey you won't get over here and then basically we're just checking like hey do we have a collision and for that we just do two things we take two points on the player so for example if you want to check on the left side the collision we just say like this point and this point we just check hey is on the left top side and on the left bottom side is there no collision so for example if we are here we have no collision with one of those dudes here then we say sweet you can go left but for example once we are clipping here and just say like oh there's a collision here or maybe here then no way and you cannot go left and this is basically it and then of course it allows even diagonal movement so for example let's go back and of course uh, if we do this on the top or the bottom side so once again then we check top left and top right and then basically we do that on the right side and on the bottom side also and this is how the whole magic works so let's go into our project and delete everything so you see the process step by step and then um, the first thing is setting up our well kind of collision system for that we create a new tile set call it walls and on that we will draw our walls so tile Want. and for now we have uh, none here so let's go and then for example here we just create a tile set for now this is empty and then we can have our dummy sprite because we just need one so spr uh, wall here we go and then we just make it 16 by 16 so here if you have uh, other dimensions well use other ones and then uh, we kind of nicely paint it with reddish color and then some really beautiful for the eye uh, blue color so here we go there yeah. and then for example what we do well first of all we need to um, make this compatible for a tile set because the first tile needs to be free so basically the first block needs to be free therefore we need to kind of adapt it to 32 by 16 yes and then just move this dude to the uh, right side and then for example we can actually apply it to our boom to our tile set and then we can close these guys and then of course say like hey the walls let's give them a tile set the, the one which we, which we just set up and boom as you can see the first tile is needs to be free therefore i pushed it to the right side so here this is for clearing and this is for painting and this is basically what we are doing yes paint and then um, well, this is basically our collision system and then later on we just hide it. But for now, uh, this looks good uh, the way it is. So the next thing is we need to set up our player. And for that, a few things need to be set up. So basically we have a create event, a step event. Step is then for checking and moving the dude around. So the first thing and then we just for the create event, we just need one variable. I call it move speed once again this needs to be an integer so basically a full round number so one two three four five whatever this is good but if you go for crummy numbers then the system well, will not work at all so the next thing which is then kind of important so for example if you have sprites and then they have wonky um, shapes therefore 
um, it is advisable in this easy system to have uh, a separation between the sprite which you are using for animation and then one which you're using for your collision mask box this dude here so therefore we create a little box this is for example 12 by 12 a little bit smaller than the original tie set so we got some wiggling room and you can send that in the middle and i did it for all the sprites also and then well that's basically it. easy peasy stuff and therefore we just apply and not take the same as the sprite we just have well, this box assigned to it and therefore we can actually uh, check this out so basically we just draw ourselves and then we draw a bound a rectangle so basically with the parameters of this specific collision or bounding box in red just well out over the dude so we can actually see so the first thing which we want to do is get well controls this is going to be very fast so i'm going to skip on this very very so i'm going to do this very quickly so well, let's call it left and then we just say keyboard basically we just use the keyboard check and then vk left and then for example we got the input of our keyboard on the left side and then we do this for well all the other keys also boom and then this is of course working pretty sweet all right so the next thing which we want to do is basically let's say like okay we need to do and grab our tile set so we can actually compare and check it out so the tile set to check first of all we need to say layer get and store that into a variable so basically we just say like hey store the layer id um, i use basically the same stuff which you see for example if you just press f1 on that and see the manual basically this is the same stuff and here you input how your tile set layer is called so tiles wall so basically this is the same stuff and then we need to grab and get the id of the tile set well attached to it and for that this is once again the same stuff you see in uh, <laughs> interesting this is the same stuff you see in um well the manual also so we're getting the map id and then it's just checking hey i want to get from this layer this specific tile set which is this dude here and then we can actually use this information and check for kind of a quasi collision so the first thing which we just say like hey and then i'm going to do that for the left and then right and so on and but um, if you see it once i guess you can uh, do that for the other ones the same so we just say like hey if we are jesus if we are pressing left so basically it's a one then we're saying like okay oh what do we do well we will check for collisions so we store that for example um, in a variable which are then called uh, left top because now we are on the left side and then we want the top position and the bottom one and therefore we then say like hey i met get pixel at and then this needs two input parameters first of all the tile set which we are using this dude here which we just got and then uh, at which point to check out so we just go bounding box left and then bounding box top and then we can actually do the same stuff for the top version which is technically doing nothing <laughs> so give a uh, bot come on bot and then here bounding box bottom um for now this is not doing a lot because we need to approximate and say like hey is there in the future if we would um plus or here minus our walk speed so for example if we would be having a collision on our top left corner or on the top bottom corner uh, on the left top corner or on the left bottom corner if there would there be a collision if both things return zero because that thing returns two values zero if there is no collision on this specific spot on this specific tile set and then we're just saying like hey is there on both uh, things no collision so it must be on both and then here zero sweet then we can actually update our x 
our movement speed and then we can actually move so this is basically the whole theory and the whole practice so if there's no block no tile block on the way we can move so let's actually check this out and now for example we are pressing left great 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 Ugh. and then and now i'm pressing left and i'm getting stuck this is what we want to have so basically then we can definitely do the same stuff here I'm gonna copy paste the whole um, well, code in the comment section so you can actually check it out for yourself because sometimes uh, some people are just getting lost in that. I thought, okay, um, let's make this easy. So, right. And then, for example, here we are just checking hey, now from our right side of our bounding box. Again, the, the orange box here. Then, of course, plus because now we are moving to the right side then once again we're just checking hey uh, is there a collision it is not sir boom update your movement speed and this is what we're going to do for the top version so basically if we are moving up and here a little bit different so here up left and up right as a point and then we're just checking the left side and the right side and then of course here we are top and then approximating minus so we're going upwards with our movement speed so if there's no collision once again on some on the tile set boom update our movement speed and of course downwards basically the same stuff hopefully you and un you understand how the system works so for example we are pressing now down the same stuff just plus plus now and then plus going downwards and this is the whole spiel so let's check this out yeah okay for the master test can go left right yep and we can even go diagonal and of course we can break out because yes this is a <laughs> out of bounds uh, thing and as you can see works pretty fine so once again little disclaimer works only with integers full round numbers so nothing can be wonky so no precise uh, uh, collision mask this could get you into trouble so therefore once again blocky everything but it works um, decent anyway so hopefully you enjoyed this um, and if you have if you don't see me before Christmas Merry Christmas and for everybody else who's not uh, well doing the Christmas stuff but having having free time <laughs> good for you also alrighty have have a good one one up indie